Okay. Uh, what's what this was? What's his secret to getting hot babes? <laughs> <laughs> your secret what's your secret dude oh man i had to ask what's your you? secret sauce that's so funny man all those babes are just so hot i love how like <laughs> it, it's it's such a simple answer that a lot of people just don't want to take in you know yeah that, that they're like it it has to be a mystery it has to be this like fucking secret what's right the secret it's so silly i always tell them like just go talk to him bro like that's really like, okay, talk to him. No, but you got to go past that because I some know. people are fucking weird. I know. It's true. Okay, look, not going to lie. Um, being funny helps a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I, I feel like 90% of my poon that I've acquired is I can thank my- Your poon acquisitions? My poon acquisitions <laughs> are because of the jokes. I always tell people, look, I'm not the type of guy if I walk into a party, a girl's like, man, I want to fuck that guy, right? But I'm like, give me 10 minutes next to the fucking Cheetos, and they're like, I might suck this guy's dick because I'm charmed. I laugh. That is your secret recipe. Yeah, and uh, so being funny helps, but at the end of the day, I think um, I think a lot of- a lot of guys just, you know, like when you when you're like, oh man, what's the secret to getting hot babes? It's just so like, ugh. you've been calling them hot babes. It's so was just cringe, you know. It's, yeah. I think a lot, a lot of guys it just sounds like you're trying to trap a beaver in the forest. <laughs> or something. What is the secret? That is what yeah. they're doing, though. A beaver. They're like, what do you, what do you got to put on the fishing stream? Yeah, make sure they bite because they're not biting what I have. It's so silly. I mean, yeah, they look at it like like that, right? Yeah. Um, and I think it's so dumb when dudes are like, man, like. Oh man, how do I? How do you get a girl? How do you get that girl? It's like out of your league, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, bro, there's there's no leagues, there's no bro. leagues, man. <laughs> I feel like once you once you tell yourself that, it's like you're going into the game saying you already lost, yep. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Which is just you're you're knocking yourself down, yeah. which already like that means your confidence isn't up because confidence is key too. Just going into it, confidence like, is, is the number one. It's thing. the number one thing. Yeah, because like if you walk into a room like you're the shit, people are like, oh man, this guy's the shit, you know. And I think I think I mean you're you're a woman, yeah. Sometimes and I think, <laughs> and I think a lot of women would say like confidence is so a hundred percent. Yeah, it's like so attractive. Like you're shorter than me, right? Uh, this is true. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> but your confidence makes everyone me... is. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> the dude in the fucking far corner is pissing me off. <laughs> but like you keep you're... stating the obvious. <laughs> but your confidence, I never remember that you're shorter than me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I just always feel like you have such a big presence. That's funny that you say that because there are there are people that are like the same height as me, and um, but then like I'll, I've brought it in conversation with somebody. I'm like, you know, I'm you know, like we're like I'm the same height as that guy. They're like, what? No, <laughs> <laughs> because because of, of what you said. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I remember even like, and I don't know, <laughs> you know, and, and, and then kids will ask me like, how do you become so confident? And I and I don't really know how to answer that. I think you have to love yourself. That's so that's a big part of it. And you know? and I always say like I I thank my parents for fucking being so like just supportive and playing with me all the time because I feel like, you know, they love me that I made me love myself. I'm confident in who I am that's as a awesome. person because yeah. I remember just walking I around. I love your parents, man. They're so great. <laughs> um, I just remember in elementary school walking around and um the uh Mr. Perez, the janitor, he came up to me when I was in the bathroom one time like after like washing my hands and he was like, "Hey, you you walk like a like a big man. Nice. <laughs> I was like, and this was like elementary school, bro. And I was like, you missed the spot on the floor, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was like, thanks, man. That's right. <laughs> You're like, the help's not supposed to talk to the students. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, sir. Do you dope. speak English? <laughs> yeah, I think what a lot of people, when they talk about like leagues and stuff, it's they probably find themselves ugly, both. Like from a or alpha and beta from, type yeah, shit. Yeah, from a visual like, and up. emotional standpoint. Yeah, because I think when you're not able to express who you are on the inside, which makes up more of you than your outside, in my opinion, mm. then you're limited to your physical attributes. Mm. So when you're limited to your physical attributes, then you're like, wait, so how am I supposed to get that chick? She's way out of my league. Mm. But if you can, that's how we worked out because you were focused on the insides because your outsides are just not. Damn. <laughs> so yeah like when when people are able to express their insights like you know when you're funny you're like, oh this guy got a great personality i want to hang out with this right, person right right you know because people like if you're limited to the outside i don't know anyone that's like man i can't wait to hang out with someone that's just 511 today <laughs> you know you're like, i want to hang out with someone that's gonna have a good time right, sense right. Of humor. so you got to get that stuff on the outside 
without saying it. Like yeah. you know, when you're writing a script, you show it on tell. You don't go, hey, I'm really funny. You just got to know me. Right. <laughs> it's like, that's really weird, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not a beaver trapper. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I swear. Yeah. I'm a great guy. That's fucking weird. <laughs> it's hard. I wouldn't even know what to say because I'm a chick, you know? Like, I've never had to been put in that situation to, yeah. like, have to, like, put my best foot forward in order to, like, uh, impress. I don't even know if that's the right word. Or see if someone is, like, I, I want to attract them to me. Right. That's tough. Yeah. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like uh, if you can get – flirty jokes down to a science man you can accomplish so much like me and rick always uh credit uh like being able to joke flirtatiously because also if you're too jokey then there's the risk of like friend zone or whatever yeah yeah um but i feel like i was i always um do the whole <laughs> me and rick are big on the whole um i'm just i'm just i'm just playing unless you're down situation <laughs> it feels like that yeah yeah so we do a lot of like um you know for girls like we'd be interested in and I don't even know how we both kind of both acquired this this style Skill. of flirting. Yeah, yeah, but we just we both you probably do were that. trying to hit on a chick and then <laughs> hurt each other and then went like, yeah, maybe. And then we like, and then we double teamed her. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> nah, but uh, so it's just like a lot of like, um, nah, girl. Uh, you know, um, I would always offer massages because I give really good massages because I'm Thai. You know? Even you even saying that already is so flirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I'm really good at giving massages. Like, if a girl hears that, we're like, okay, no, bro. No, but that's the beauty of being funny because if a regular guy's like, hey, you know, I give really good massages. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Don't so touch me, creep. It's a then, it's, then it's gross. But yeah. if I'm like, if a girl's sore and I'm like, well, you know, I give really good massages. If like, if you ever need like a booty rub or something, nah, I'm just playing. No, but for real, I give good massages. Then it's like, Oh, okay. He's fucking around, but oh, wait, do you give massages for real? And then the fact is, I give give booty massages for real. And then it's like, next thing you know, she's naked. She's naked, and your dick is out. 